Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're tackling a question that's got the tech world buzzing. Can a company's success be replicated? Mm -hmm. And to answer that, we're diving headfirst into the story of DeepSeek. Okay. This Chinese AI startup that's shaking things up in a big way. Interesting. You sent us some articles on them, and let yeah. me tell you, this is one for the history books. I'm excited to dive in. Okay, think chat GPT. Right. But with a twist. Okay. DeepSeek just blew past it to become the number one AI app. Wow. On the App Store. That's impressive. In just a year and a half. Really? They went from an unknown name to a major player. Hmm. Rivaling giants like Google and OpenAI in developing cutting-edge AI. What's mind-blowing is that DeepSeek isn't just playing catch-up. Right. They're innovating in ways Western companies haven't even considered. Yeah, I saw that in the articles you sent. They've embraced a radically different approach. Okay. One built on transparency, efficiency, and a curiosity-first mentality. Wait, hold up. Curiosity first. Yeah. We're talking about hardcore tech here. Uh-huh. That sounds almost philosophical. Exactly. Hmm. And that's a huge EE part of what makes them so unique. Okay. They're not just building algorithms. Right. They're on a quest to unravel the mysteries of AI itself. Okay. Color me intrigued. Yeah. So how did this all begin? DeepSeek was founded in 2023. Okay. By Lang Wenfeng. All right. And almost immediately, they faced a major hurdle. What was that? Export controls. Oh, right. Limited their access to the high-end GPUs. The ones that that companies like Google and OpenAI rely on. So they were basically forced to innovate or die trying. Pretty much. Wow. They couldn't just throw money at the problem right. by buying more computing power. Yeah. So they had to get seriously creative at the algorithmic level. Talk about turning a constraint into an opportunity. Yeah. What did they come up with? They developed a whole arsenal of innovative techniques. Yep. Things like multi-head latent attention. Multi-head latent attention. Which is like having multiple spotlights. Okay. Shining on different aspects of a problem. Interesting. Allowing their... AI to zero in on the most crucial details. Okay, that's a cool visual. Yeah. And it sounds way more efficient than just blasting the whole thing with a floodlight. Exactly. What else? They also pioneered group relative policy optimization. Right. A method that speeds up the training process by having different parts of the AI model. Wow. Learn from each other. Mm. It's like having a study group, but for AI. I love that analogy. Yeah. So basically, they were forced to outsmart the competition instead of outspending them. Exactly. Fascinating. And it worked. Really? They achieved comparable performance to U.S. models with significantly less computing power. So they're much more efficient. For example, they trained their V3 model for just over $5.5 million. Okay. While a similar model from OpenAI or Google could cost tens. Wow. Even hundreds of millions. Wow. That's a mind-boggling difference. It is. So they're not just better for the planet. Right. They're better for the bottom line, too. Mm. But how does their CEO, yeah. Liang Wenfeng, right. fit into all of this? Wenfeng's vision has been crucial to Deep Seek's success. Okay. He's laser-focused on innovation, not just quick profits. Interesting. He wants Deep Seek to push the boundaries of AI. Okay. Not just for their own gain. Right. But for the advancement of the entire field. That's a refreshing perspective. Yeah. Especially in an industry that often feels like a cutthroat race for dominance. It it's is. It's almost like they're saying, hey, let's figure this AI thing out together. Exactly. That's really cool. And that brings us to another one of DeepSeek's radical moves. Okay. Their commitment to open source AI. Hold on. Open source? Yeah. Doesn't that mean they're giving away their hard-earned secrets? You could say that. Wow. They're making their models' weights freely available really? for anyone to use and build upon. So anyone could just take their models. Imagine a world where the most powerful AI tools are like a shared recipe book. Interesting. Open for anyone to contribute to and learn from. Okay, that does sound pretty radical. It is. Especially when you consider how secretive companies like OpenAI are about their models. Yeah, it's a complete 180 from the status quo. Wow. Wenfeng believes that open sourcing their models will accelerate the pace of innovation uh -huh. and democratize access to AI. Doesn't that mean they're basically commoditizing their own product? Hmm. I mean, how do you make money when everyone can use your stuff for free? That's the billion dollar question. Yeah. And it's part of what makes DeepSeek's story so intriguing. I can see that. They're betting that a more open and collaborative approach will ultimately benefit everyone, including themselves. 
Okay, I'm starting to see how these pieces fit together. The yeah. constraints, the innovations, the open source philosophy. It's a really fascinating approach. But there's another layer to this story, right? Yeah, definitely. Something about DeepSeek being shaped by cultural factors that are distinct from Western AI development. You're hitting on a crucial point. Okay. DeepSeek's approach is deeply intertwined with Chinese culture. Interesting. For example, their long-term thinking aligns with Confucian values, mm. which emphasize planning for future generations. So they're not just building for the next quarter's profits, right. they're building for the next century. Precisely. Wow. They're willing to invest heavily in R&D without the expectation of immediate financial returns. That's a really different approach than we see a lot in the West. Yeah. One analyst even described it as China's struggle culture. Struggle culture. Where overcoming adversity is seen as a path to success. That's a pretty powerful concept. Yeah. So while some U.S. companies are chasing the hype of artificial general intelligence right. or AGI, yeah. DeepSeek is taking a more grounded approach. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're focused on unraveling the mysteries of AI, not trying to create a super intelligence that could potentially turn on us. It's almost like they're saying, right. let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Let's understand this thing before we try to control it. Exactly. That's really interesting. And this difference in perspective could have a profound impact on the future of AI. <sighs> okay, I'm definitely hooked on this story. Yeah. DeepSeek's rise is a masterclass in turning limitations into strengths. It really is. Embracing transparency and playing the long game. Uh -huh. But how exactly... Are their models performing? Yeah. Are they really on par with those from the big players in the U.S.? That's where things get really interesting. Okay. And we'll dive into that in part two of our Deep Seek Deep Dive. Oh, come on. You can't leave us hanging like that. Don't worry. We'll be back soon to break down Deep Seek's remarkable achievements. Right. And what they mean for the future of AI. All right, folks, you heard it here first. Okay. Stay tuned for part two. Yeah. Where we'll explore whether Deep Seek's success can truly be replicated. And until then... Keep those brains buzzing. Definitely. Welcome back to the deep dive. Last time uh, we left off with a real cliffhanger. Yeah. Deep Seek. This Chinese AI startup right. is shaking up the industry with its innovative, efficient, mm. and open source approach. It's pretty remarkable. But the question remains, can their success actually be replicated? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And to answer that, we need to take a closer look at DeepSeek's models. Okay. And how they stack up against the giants, More... like Google and OpenAI. All right, lay it on me. Okay. What are we looking at here? DeepSeek's models have been consistently exceeding expectations. Okay. Their V3 model, for example, right. achieved comparable performance to mm -hmm. much larger, more expensive models. Really? From Google and OpenAI. Wow. And get this. What? They did it with significantly less data. Wait. Less data. Yeah. Isn't more data always better when it comes to training AI? That's the conventional wisdom. Right. But DeepSeek is turning that idea on its head. Interesting. They're proving that it's not just about the quantity of data. Okay. It's about the quality. So they're like the Marie Kondo of AI. Ah, uh, yeah. Tidying up their data yeah. and only keeping what sparks joy. Exactly. I like it. They're incredibly meticulous about cleaning and preparing their data. Okay. Which allows them to achieve impressive results with smaller, mm. more carefully curated data sets. Okay, that's pretty clever. Yeah. But how does that translate into actual performance? Right. What can these models do? Their R1 reasoning model is a great example. Oh, R1. It's consistently outperforming several leading U.S. models on a variety of benchmarks. Interesting. We're talking tasks that require complex reasoning, oh, okay. problem solving, uh, even a bit of creativity. So it's not just crunching numbers, it's mm. actually thinking for itself. In a way, yes. Wow. It's able to analyze information, okay. draw inferences, and come up with solutions in a way that's remarkably human-like. Okay, now that's impressive. It is. But we've also talked about DeepSeek's radical transparency. Right. They're open sourcing their models, uh -huh. which means anyone can use them, yep. study them, even build upon them. It's pretty amazing. What's the thinking behind that? It goes back to their philosophy of collaboration and democratizing AI. Okay. They believe that by making their technology freely available, right. they can accelerate the pace of innovation for everyone. I can see the upside for smaller companies and researchers who right. don't have the resources of a Google or OpenAI. For sure. But what's in it for DeepSeek? They're essentially betting on the idea that a rising tide lifts all boats. Hmm. 
by fostering a more open and collaborative AI ecosystem, right. they believe that everyone benefits, including themselves. So it's a long-term strategy, not a short-term grab for profit. Exactly. Interesting. And it's a bold move that's already starting to shake things up. How so? We're seeing more and more developers and companies around the world adopting DeepSeek's models. Wow. And that's creating a ripple effect of innovation. Okay. I'm starting to see the potential here. Yeah. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay. The geopolitical implications of all this. Right. DeepSeek's success is being seen as a major win for China in the global AI race. Uh -huh. Is that an accurate assessment? It's certainly a factor. Okay. The Chinese government has made AI development a top priority. Right. And they're pouring resources into research and infrastructure. I've heard that. DeepSeek success is seen as a validation of their approach. So while DeepSeek is a private company, yeah. they're still very much a part of China's larger ambitions in AI. Absolutely. Mm. And their success is putting pressure on Western companies and governments to do what? To rethink their own strategies. Okay. I see how that adds another layer of complexity to this whole story. Definitely. But what about the potential downsides? Yeah, that's important to consider. We've talked about Deep Seek's curiosity first mentality, yeah. but some experts are worried that their less cautious approach to AI safety could backfire. Right. What are your thoughts on that? It's a legitimate concern. Okay. Some argue that Deep Seek's focus on pushing the boundaries of AI right. without the same level of emphasis on safety and alignment as we see in the West mm -hmm. could lead to unintended consequences. So while they're unlocking incredible potential, yeah. they might also be opening Pandora's box. It's a possibility. Yeah. And it's a debate that's raging within the AI community. I can imagine. Some believe that we need to proceed with extreme caution. Okay. While others argue that too much regulation could stifle innovation. So it's a tightrope walk between pushing the boundaries of what's possible right. and making sure we don't create something we can't control. Exactly. That's a tough balance to strike. And finding that balance is going to be crucial as AI becomes increasingly powerful and integrated into our lives. This is all incredibly fascinating. It is. But it also feels a bit like we're standing on the edge of the unknown. Yeah, I know what you mean. What does Deep Seek's rise ultimately mean for the future of AI? Well, for one thing, it suggests that we're entering a new era of AI development. Okay. One where innovation can come from oh. anywhere, not just Silicon Valley. So it's a challenge to the existing power dynamics. Yes. A sign that the AI landscape is becoming more diverse and competitive. Precisely. That's a big deal. And it's also forcing us to rethink some of our assumptions about how AI should be developed. Okay. Deep Seek's success suggests that a more open collaborative right. and efficient approach can be just as effective, hmm. if not more so, than the traditional model of secrecy and massive spending. Okay, so the old playbook might be outdated. It might be. We're seeing a new set of rules emerge, yeah. and Deep Seek is writing them. It's a fascinating case study. And the implications of this shift are far-reaching. They are. It could lead to a democratization of AI, making powerful tools and technologies accessible to a much wider range of people and organizations. That's the hope. That's a pretty exciting prospect. It is. But I imagine there are some challenges ahead, too. Absolutely. Right. We still need to grapple with the ethical implications of AI, right. the potential impact on jobs and society, Buffle. and the need for international collaboration to ensure responsible development. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. There is. And it's clear that Deep Seek's story is far from over. Not even close. And that brings us to the final part of our Deep Seek deep dive, okay. where we'll explore what their rise means for the future of open source AI, right. the growing influence of China in the tech world, uh -huh. and ultimately what all of this means for you, the listener. Sounds good. All right, folks, you heard it here. Yep. Stay tuned for part three, okay. where we'll delve into the potential future scenarios of this rapidly evolving AI landscape. And until then, keep those brains buzzing. Welcome back to the deep dive. We've been unpacking the story of DeepSeek. Yeah. This Chinese AI startup that's turned the industry upside down. It's a pretty wild story. They're efficient, they're transparent. Right. And they're playing the long game. Uh-huh. But now, the big question. Okay. 
what does their rise mean for the future of AI? That's what we're here to explore. Right. DeepSeek's success has thrown a wrench into a lot of predictions. Yeah, for sure. And it's forcing everyone to rethink the rules of the game. Okay, so let's start with the elephant in the room. All right. The geopolitical angle. Okay. We've touched on China's growing influence in the tech world. Right. Is DeepSeek's success a sign of things to come? It's definitely a signal that the balance of power in AI is shifting. Interesting. DeepSeek's rapid rise is seen by many as a validation of China's approach to AI development. Okay. They've prioritized collaboration, efficiency, right. and long-term vision. Yeah, I can see that. Which is a stark contrast to the more competitive and often secretive approach we've seen in the West. So it's not just about one company succeeding. It's right. about a whole different philosophy of innovation gaining ground. Exactly. Hmm, that's a big deal. And that's making some people in the West pretty nervous. Why is that? There's a growing concern that China could overtake the U.S. as the global leader in AI, mm -hmm. and that could have major implications I've heard what? for everything, from economic competitiveness to national security. Okay, I see how that adds a whole other layer of complexity to the story. It does. But what does it mean for the average person? Yeah, that's a good question. How is Deep Seek's rise going to impact our daily lives? Well, one of the most exciting possibilities is that Deep Seek's open source approach could lead to a democratization of AI. Democratization of AI. Imagine a world where the most powerful AI tools and technologies are freely available to anyone. Wow. Not just big corporations or governments. That sounds pretty utopian. Everyone has access to the same cutting edge AI. Yeah. Is that even realistic? It's certainly a bold vision. Yeah. And there are still plenty of challenges to overcome. Of course. But DeepSeek is already showing that it's possible to develop world-class AI without massive budgets or secrecy. Okay. And their commitment to open sourcing their models is creating a ripple effect. How so? Inspiring others to follow suit. So we could see an explosion of new AI applications and services oh, created by people all over the world. We could see everything from personalized education tools that adapt to your learning style. Wow. AI-powered healthcare apps that can diagnose diseases earlier and more accurately. Okay, that does sound pretty amazing. It does. But what about the potential downsides? Right, it's important to think about that. We've all seen those sci-fi movies where AI takes over the world. Yeah. Is there a risk that we're creating something we can't control? It's a valid concern. Okay. And one that we need to take seriously. As AI becomes more powerful and integrated into our lives, Yeah. we need to be very thoughtful about its development and deployment. Right. I don't think we should let fear paralyze us. Okay. AI has the potential to solve some of humanity's biggest challenges. Like what? From climate change to disease. That's a huge potential impact. Yes. Okay. The key is to proceed with caution. Right. But also with a sense of optimism and possibility. So it's about finding the right balance yeah. between embracing the potential of AI and being mindful of the risks. Exactly. That's a tough one. And that's where Deep Seek's story gets really interesting. Okay, how so? They're not just pushing the boundaries of technology. Yeah. They're also forcing us to confront mm. some fundamental questions about the role of AI in society. Like what kind of questions? What does it mean to develop AI responsibly? Mm -hmm. Who should have access to these powerful tools? Right. And what kind of future do we want to create with AI? Those are some big questions. They are. And it sounds like Deep Seek's rise is going to be a major factor in how we answer them. Absolutely. Their success is a wake up call. Yeah. A reminder that the future of AI is not predetermined. Hmm. It's up to all of us to shape it. I agree. OK, so what can we as individuals do to ensure that AI is developed and used for good? First and foremost, Stay informed. Okay. Educate yourself about AI, its potential benefits, right. and its potential risks. Got it. Engage in conversations about the ethical implications of AI, uh -huh. and advocate for responsible development. Okay. And most importantly, stay curious. Yeah, that's important. Ask questions, explore new ideas, right. and be a part of shaping the future of this incredible technology. That's a powerful message. Yeah. So Deep Seek's story is not just about a company's success. Uh -huh. It's about a shift in how we think about innovation, collaboration, right. and the role of technology in our lives. Exactly. It's a story about the power of ideas, the importance of diversity, yes. and the potential for technology to create a better future for everyone. Well said. Well, 
thank you for taking us on this incredible deep dive into the world of deep seek yeah of course it's been an eye-opening journey the pleasure was all mine and to everyone listening yeah remember the future of ai is in our hands it really is let's make it a good one couldn't agree more until next time keep those brains buzzing